How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the 13th part of the Chosokabe campaign. Anyway, as you last saw, we pretty much, you know, well, you didn't really see it because I had to skip ahead a bit because it would have just been boring as hell if I did it. We took Kawachi, we took Key, and pretty much everything's under our control. So now we're just building up an army, you know, fortifying our cities and getting everything ready for Realm Divide. And during this video, I will declare war on the Ashikaga Shogunates and attack them. Yes. That's going to be fun, don't you agree? So anyway, I'm just going to have my ninja here come down to Omi and just start sabotaging things, you know. So let's see this video. Aha, uh -huh, I lied. We're not going to watch the video. Yeah, sorry about that. It's just, you know... I'm just trying to level them up, really. I don't want to, like, stop for, like, a few minutes to watch the video every time, you know? So, yeah. Basically, let's just recruit some men here. You know, just fortify the cities, basically, because once Realm Divide hits, everybody and their mother is going to send an army my way. And that's not going to be a really pretty sight, you know? So, yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Recruit some men here. Uh, recruit some men here. And so on and so forth, you know. Yeah, sorry about being kind of quiet. You know, my cough keeps getting worse for some reason. And, uh, I've been taking this medicine, but damn, my throat still feels like it's been kicked in by a donkey or something. Like, seriously. Well, not a donkey, a horse, but yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> so, let's end our turn. And here, during the awesome lag faction, I, I don't even know. I want to call them shields, but they aren't, they don't look like shields, you know. And I want to call them circles, but, you know, that's just stupid. The circle waving of lag. Okay, that's kind of, yeah, that is stupid. So, you know, I need something to c call it, guys. Please tell me something. I, I just need something to call it. So anyway, I was talking with my demon lord today after I was done, you know, sacrificing tomatoes to him. Yes, I sacrificed tomatoes to my demon lord due to the fact that they are the closest thing I can get to blood without going to jail. Well, sometimes I sacrifice steaks and you know, pigs and the chickens next door. My neighbor hasn't found out. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Anyway, point is, I need. Oh yeah. What well, anyway? The demon lord said this. I need to kill the entire Ashikaga Shogunate faction in order to gain power. And we're gonna watch this video, and I'll explain the rest after it's done. As you can see there, my ninja had the blessing of the demon lord, and he leveled up. All oh, praise the demon lord, but anyway, point is. So he basically told me I need to murder everybody in the Ashikaga Shogunate, I gotta kill their heirs, I gotta kill their leaders, I gotta, you know, take over their city, light buildings on fire, and let everybody go to hell. So when I do take over Kyoto, I'm gonna sacrifice half the population to the demon lord. You're probably asking what well, one well, not asking, but wondering why. Why would you sacrifice half the population? Well if I sacrificed all the population there wouldn't be nobody left to convert or do my bidding now, would there? Exactly. So that's why I'm gonna have to sacrifice only half the population. So as you can see here, uh Chicago is still unaware of my plans. And of the fact I'm going to attack them in a turn or two here. So let's move, you know, my armies close to Kyoto. Because I really want to win this. And chances are, the Ashikaga is going to have, like, some insane army. Which is going to be, like, full of, like, I don't know, crazy vetted samurai units. Or, you know, something just insane. 
I remember when the game first came out, dude, they used to have, like, freaking... I don't know, they just had such a big samurai army, it was crazy to even imagine they could afford it. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna declare war on the Ashikaga here. And now that the war's begun, their second little army spawns here. You know? So we're gonna attack them here. I'm also gonna see if I can bribe that second army. Because if you can bribe that second army, you get a pretty decent force, and oh man, it's just awesome. So as you can see here, you know, Ashikaga is deciding to you know, attack my crap. And I am too, you know. Well, I decided to attack him. My fault. So anyway, we're going to continue the siege here. We're going to praise the Demon Lord for unholy strength and blood and the ability to slaughter our opponents in cold blood so we may do whatever it requires to, you know, take over Kyoto. And then we're going to end our turn. I'm also going to try to move one of my armies up to Kyoto over here. And as you can see, the Matsuda and Takaoka start moving their units towards Kyoto. But the Ashikaga has a different plan and decides to attack me prematurely. And luckily it's their stationed army inside the city. And since their entire army <laughs> seems to consist of nothing but bow units, this is going to be pretty easy. Because fighting bows on open ground, especially in a forested area like this, is going to make my life hell of a lot easier. <laughs> so let's get to it. Yeah, sorry about the sound. I don't know why it does that. Like, it only seems to do it when I'm recording. So I think it's Wii game messing with the audio or something. I've tried a few different things, but none of them have seemed to work, so... Sorry about that if it seems to repeat in some areas. It's kinda annoying, I know. But, yeah, it doesn't last long, so... Nothing to worry about. You know? Yeah, we get it, yeah. <laughs> so, you know... Let's just get this crap started. Anytime now. Okay. So as you can see, we have this small army. But we have reinforcements coming. So it's all good. So you know, first things first, I'm going to try to find myself a forested area to walk through. And it's not that hard to find one because look at this crap. It's like perfect, you know. My original plan was, you know, I'm just going to find a hill that's forested and camp. You know, because... No way I want to charge headlong at those archers, you know, just saying. But then I thought after a while, and I thought to myself, you know, they're probably going to be pretty slow, so I think I'll just take the hill over here before they take it and try to camp. So, you know, next minute or two of this is pretty much me just, uh, you know, running towards the hills, trying to take it before they do. And yeah. It's pretty epic stuff if you believe in sacrifices to the demon lord, but that's just my opinion, you know. Yeah. After I kill their general, I'm going to carve a pentagram into his forehead, and then I'm going to, you know, let demons possess his head and tell me dark secrets. That's going to be a pretty fun thing to do. So, you know. After a while here, we're just gonna have our men walk forward. Man, this is the most entertaining part of the Chosokabe campaign ever yet. I'm fighting the Shogunates, and yet all you're seeing is a bunch of forests, a bunch of units, and okay, I'll just zoom in on these guys here for you. And they're walking so slow. Praise the Demon Lord, this is pretty epic, don't you agree? I agree. Man. No wonder people are thinking of chicken nuggets. Sometimes when I eat pie, I wonder to myself, you know, maybe this pie will be the thing that kills me, or maybe it'll just clog my arteries, turn me into a zombie, and make me run around in circles as I feast on the flesh of all the innocent babies and within a five mile radius. Anyway, this part's almost over, so I'll see you guys in the next part.